Okay, everybody, this is Chad the Gaming Dad once again here on Dad's Games, and it's time for Shaken Game Reviews, where I take my collection on my phone, as you can see. <laughs> live screen. This is live. No editing. I have no idea what game it's going to pick for me. So, I hate this part. I don't know what I'm going to have to play. <sighs> here I go. Shake it. It came up with Zaxxon. <laughs> the Atari 2600. Zaxxon! Oh, well, that's... Whew. That one's not so bad. At least it's not like Skyrim or something, because every game I have is in this app on the phone. So, looks like we're going to be taking a look at Zaxxon this time. So, here you go. Okay, so here we go. I shook the phone, and it chose Zaxxon for the Atari 2600. I guess that's not bad, it could have chosen much worse. So let's get started. Like many Atari games, Zaxxon was originally a popular arcade game. The arcade game was made by Sega, and it was released in 1982. It was very revolutionary for its time, because most games back then were sort of just based off of Space Invaders. You know, you'd have some sort of ship, or some sort of thing that would fire vertically at some enemies that were descending down on you. Space Invaders being very popular, many games tried to emulate that, but Zaxxon was different. It had an isometric view, where you were basically flying up and to the right, but the real innovation was the addition of the 3D, the depth. You see, you would fly your ship not just left and right, but also kind of up and down, in and out of the screen. You know, this was indicated by the shadow beneath your ship. The closer you got to the ground, the smaller the shadow, and as you go up, it gets bigger. Same thing with the enemies. There's also a bar off to the side that showed your basic altitude, how high you were. So, in this game, you could essentially dodge enemies and attack them by moving to the same plane as them, not just in front of them by going left and right, but you had to be on the same vertical depth as the enemies to shoot them, or you could go beneath them or above them to dodge their bullets. Pretty cool. You know, it's not a real big deal right now, but back in 1982, a game like this was huge. Okay, so here we have the Atari 2600 version of this popular game. This was also released in 1982. But here we have the limited power of the Atari, so the isometric view that was so popular in arcades was taken out and this is turned back to a vertical one. But they were able to save the 3D depth to it. So the core gameplay was still there. You still fly left and right, as well as vertically up and down, you know, into and away from the play field. Uh, but this time you're just pretty much flying straight up. Also, the Atari version has some very limited graphics and limited sounds, and it's overall a very rough port of Zaxxon. The real problem with this game, at least for me, is that it's very glitchy. And the game, when you play it on your 2600, the poor old 2600 just can't keep up with the 3D, I don't think, because the screen looks pretty good when you're going left and right, but as soon as you start to move in 3D, either toward or away from the play field, the screen kind of jumps up and down and sort of shakes. It just doesn't play very well. The other issue with this game is that to me, the play field, which is supposed to be this ground level of like a base or something from the uh, arcade game, this thing just looks like a giant jerky blue escalator. You know, as if you were standing at the bottom, staring up and wondering how those magical stairs keep disappearing. You know, your spaceship in this game doesn't look too great either. In fact, it's a little bit lower resolution than the planes that you would find in Atari's game Combat. You know, I can't really make out the enemies either. We have here what looks like the head of a spy versus spy guy. And then here we have either a rock or some sort of thing my dog left in the yard. There's also a fuel gauge at the bottom that you have to keep an eye on. And you refuel your plane, or you get your fuel, by shooting the fuel barrels. You know, just like in real life, right? You need a quick fill up, just blow up the gas station. Then you see the red wall that has a hole in it. So you have to aim and fly through that hole. That's supposed to simulate the walls that you go up and over in the arcade version. 
And you do also, in the Atari version, get a space flight level. But this one here is pretty much the same as the ground level, minus the blue escalator. Take away the escalator, this is the same level. But here, they actually take away the 3D. There's no third dimension of depth on this one. It's just 2D. You're basically going left and right and shooting. So then you keep doing this over and over again, and then out of nowhere, you, you come across this boss. Who knew there was even a boss in this game? I don't know. Here's a picture of what it looks like in the arcade. And here's what it looks like on the Atari 2600. I don't know what this is. The, the arcade looks kind of like a dragon, but this, what is this? Is this a guy, a robot? Who knows? You just shoot, he pretty much just stands there, and you blow him up. Then you're back to the ground levels again. So Zaxxon, it's one of the okay Atari games to have in your collection. I would say go ahead and pick it up if you can get it for about a dollar, but I wouldn't pay much more than that. This cartridge is one of the cool looking white Coleco cartridges, you know, and it looks nice in your collection, but honestly, I don't think this cart's gonna be spending a lot of time plugged into your Atari. I've played worse, but you know, there's a lot better Atari games out there too. So there you have Zaxxon for the Atari. Tune in next time to see what the iPhone will select for me when I shake the collection again on Shaken Game Reviews. Remember, you never outgrow video games. I'm Chad the Gaming Dad, and this is Dad's Games. Thanks again for watching, and so long, everybody.